In this episode, I am unboxing and giving my first impressions of the brand spanking new Cricut Hat Press. So let's get crafty. All right, so for starters, and let's just get one thing out of the way super quick, Cricut did not did not send me this Cricut hat press, nor are they paying me for this video. This is just a completely unbiased, honest review on the actual hat press itself. So let's go ahead and get into this. Let's go ahead and unbox this. Now, one thing I will say about Cricut is that their packaging, their, their design of their machinery, it's always like just super on point. It's just super freaking gorgeous. This is honestly no exception, regardless of how you feel about this. It's, it's a beautiful machine. It's a, a beautiful device. So here is like the holder for the actual hat press. And here is the hat press itself. All right, so as far as what else is in the box, it looks like some of that new heat transfer tape that they were talking about. So that right there. Here is what I am assuming is to be like a little quick get started guide or maybe even like the warranty information, which I will open up here in a second. And here is the hat form. Now, <laughs> I've heard a lot of things about this hat form. And honestly, like first impression about this, um, really nice weight overall. And I, I mean, it's like not bad at all. However, I've been hearing a lot of these like little rumors and like little murmurings about there being walnuts inside of this for whatever reason. All I'm gonna say is that apparently this contains walnuts. So do your own research if you or anyone you know has a nut allergy and see if that's something that you need to be concerned about with this or not. All right, so let's take a really quick look at what's inside of this little, this little envelope. All right, so looks like a first little project that they included here. A little get started guide, it looks like. Basically where to go if you need some help with this. Basically all pretty standard things for what usually comes with a Cricut machine. All right, so it looks like as far as all the buttons go, it's pretty cut and dry. So here at the top, that little play button, that is called the go button. And then below it with that little thermometer, that is actually the power and temperature button. And these little waves right below that, that is just like the little indicator lights that lets you know what level, like what heat level you actually have the heat on with this. I am gonna go ahead and remove the little plastic coating on here. And let's go ahead and plug this baby in. Now I do believe that this is actually compatible with the new Cricut Heat app. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a search for that in my app store. And let's go ahead and download that real quick. I am pretty curious about this new Cricut Heat app. You know, from my understanding, and I could be wrong, again, this is a first impressions. I haven't delved too deep into any of this, of this information as of yet. But from my understanding, it seems like this is just like settings for Cricut materials. I could be wrong, we'll find out. And I'm just signing in with my Cricut ID. All right, so now it's saying let's get set up. Cricut Heat will connect to your product and activate it. So let's go ahead and click on set up. All right, so for starters and something I should have known already, you do need to go ahead and have this turned on. So let me go ahead and hit this little thermometer, which is also the power button right here. All right, so that was cool. That was actually really fast as well. As soon as I turned this on, the option came up on my phone to go ahead and connect. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I want to go ahead and agree to have this activated and click on activate. All right, so that was super quick. Like I'm honestly, I'm honestly really impressed with this little guy so far. This whole process is pretty cool, I gotta say. All right, so let's see, they have like the hat press user guide, iron on, HTV transfers. Also, I'm really happy to see Cricut acknowledging that iron-on is the same thing as HTV. So as you can see, like they have like little HTV right here in parentheses. I like that, good job Cricut. Uh, the infusible ink transfers, the hat press user guide. All right, so basically going over all the details on the hat press itself. Uh, let's see, we can go in here and set the custom time and temperature. Okay, I color me impressed. Color me very impressed. I love the Cricut mini press. However, one of the things I didn't love as much is that you were only limited to basically three settings. I honestly thought that this was gonna be like the same type of situation, but this is saying that we can actually put in a custom time and temperature. What the heck? How freaking cool is that? Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, so you can put in the actual temperature, you can put it in the actual press time, but then you can also put in the preheating of the blank. I'm here for this. Like, I am so here for this. Okay, so, oh, this is so cool. I'm so excited. So let me go ahead and actually get our design together and we'll go ahead and cut that out and then we'll go actually go ahead and press it onto our hats. Now, I will say I ordered this again, 
with my own money from Joann's the night that it was released on Saturday night. Um, actually, Sunday morning, technically, because it was like right at midnight that this was released. And again, it was all my own money. And I even ordered the actual hats, like the actual hats that Cricut has to go with it. Because surprisingly enough, the, the hats that were on sale for like $75 for a 12 pack, that's actually really, really affordable. And Cricut, most of their items, like the actual, most of their blanks are actually a really nice quality. So I'm really excited about that because honestly, it was a much cheaper price than most anything that I found on Amazon. So there's that. However, the hats did not come in today <laughs> along with this. However, I did kind of rummage through all my things and I finally found this hat right here. It's an odor hat, but hey, I could not wait to dive into this. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that for today. So let's go ahead and come over here to crafty.net. And this is the SVG cut file that I'm using for this project. Now, everything on crafty.net, all of the 13,000 plus files, at the time of filming this, 13,000 plus files, all of them are unlimited access, unlimited downloads. So it is such a great deal you get a commercial license with all of them as long as you are a member and it's only $9.99 per month. I mean, insanely affordable. However, I do recommend going for the yearly option. The yearly option only because you actually get to save more money. It's $107.89 for the entire year. Love that. All right, so let me go in here and since we don't need to download the entire zip file, I mean, you can if you want to, totally up to you. But since we don't need to download all that, we can just go ahead and do this little drop down and click on SVG. And I'm just gonna do a one click download like so. And then let's go ahead and hop over here to Cricut Design Space. And as you can see, I did go ahead and upload this to Cricut Design Space. I skipped ahead just a little bit. However, if you wanna know exactly how to do this process for yourself, first of all, it's pretty easy. It's, it's very self-explanatory, but if you're new to all this, you may not know. So I did go ahead and create a full playlist where I go through this process on different devices, and that will be listed and linked for you down in that description box below. So be sure to check that out. But this is the file that I'm using. It says that crazy little son, S-U-N, son of a beach. B-E-A-C-H. I think it's cute, especially with spring right around the corner at the time of filming this. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and resize this for our hat. So let me grab that hat real quick and let's see how big we want this to be overall. So, all right, so I'm thinking like the max width would be like five and a half inches. And then the max height, I'm thinking like the max height would be like around three inches or so. All right, so let's go ahead and come over here and click on shapes and let's open up a template. Or in reality, we're opening up a square that we will make into a template. So let me click on a square here. And then I'll come up here towards the top of the screen and resize this to be 5.5 inches wide for the width. We'll go ahead and unlock this little padlock to unlock the proportions. And for the height, let's just go ahead and put in here a three for that three inches. We'll just roll with that. I think that might be a little bit easier. And I'm gonna go ahead and right click on our little template, click on send it back. And then we can go ahead and just resize this to fit properly onto this hat. We know that since this is gonna fit onto this little area right here, digitally, here on Cricut Design Space, we know that that's gonna also fit perfectly here on our actual hat. So we can come over here to the right-hand side of the page, click on this little eye icon to hide that, that template layer. And let's go ahead and come up here towards the top right. And first off, I need to actually change my machine over from a joy. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this over to a Cricut Explore 3 and then click on Make It. All right, so now I'm gonna come in here and click on mat. I will be cutting this out on the mat and then click on continue. All right, so this is all gonna be cut out with HTV, heat transfer vinyl, also known as iron on vinyl. So what I'm gonna do is come in here and make sure that all of this is mirrored like so. And then let's come down here towards the bottom right and click on continue. All right, so instead of this orange layer, I'm actually gonna cut this out on this hot pink layer. And I believe this is all Starcraft soft flex. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and place the shiny side uh, face down onto the cutting mat. And then as far as the cut settings go, I am gonna come over here and click on Everyday Iron-On. And then we can go ahead and load this into our machine. And then whenever this little go button starts flashing, we can go ahead and click on that for it to start cutting. And while that cuts, I am gonna go ahead and load my next mat. All right, we can go ahead and unload that and then load it in the next mat. Then we're gonna take our mat and flip that over and then peel the mat away from the HTV. And I'm gonna go ahead and start weeding this out with our little weeding pin. All right, we'll go ahead and unload this. Flip it over and then peel the mat away from the HTV. 
And then we can go ahead and load our last layer with the color side or shiny side facing down. And whenever the little go button starts flashing, we can go ahead and click on that for to start cutting. So we'll go ahead and unload that. Again, flip it over and then peel the mat away from that HTV. All right, so here is the hat form for the Cricut hat press. Let me go ahead and grab the hat and we'll put that on the actual hat press form. I mean, it seems pretty straightforward again. I've not watched any videos on this, like any official videos. I've seen like the actual release video and I've seen like a couple of like TikTok, like Instagram reels types of videos, but not like any actual tutorials yet. Cause I really just wanted to give like a good first impression and kind of going into this, not really knowing what to do. <laughs> just so I can give y'all like an honest first impression on all this. All right, so I'm just kind of tightening that little baseball cap around that form. All right, okay. I see what they did here. Now I have done HTV onto hats of four in the past. And you know, with that, I always try to like roll up and kind of like squash like an easy press mat up into the hat to kind of get it to kind of keep its shape overall. So this is actually very, very helpful. All right, so now let's go back to like the fun part, which is like this app. Again, I'm so freaking impressed with this so far. I mean, the actual device could be a disaster, but I'm still impressed with this app. I don't think this is gonna be a disaster though. So let's go ahead and put in here our temperature. So I'm gonna put in here 285 degrees. For the StarCraft Soft Flex, it is 285 degrees for around eight to 10 seconds. But obviously follow the instructions for whatever, whatever HTV or iron on vinyl or infusible ink, really whatever you're using, make sure that you're following the instructions for that. I'll put in here 10 seconds. And I'm gonna go ahead and preheat this, why not? So let's go ahead and click on send settings to hat press. Give me one, make sure that this is turned on. All right, so it's saying overriding settings, okay to change settings for hat press. I'm gonna click on okay. I also really love how fast this is heating up. This is really cool to kind of watch it in real time and actually see the temperature. All right, so I don't know why this is set for 60 seconds. I am gonna go ahead and click on cancel because we do have, I do have that set to 10 seconds. I'm gonna click on send settings to press. Okay, so preheat blank. All right, so here we go. I must have hit something wrong the first time. So preheating, it's basically saying to position the heat press down here at the bottom, then press the little go button on the heat press. So also this little light turns green whenever that's ready. So cool. All right, so let's go ahead and position it on here and then hit the little green button just to preheat this. All right, that was easy enough. Okay, so let me go ahead and position our first layer of HTV. Now with HTV, what I always like to do is start with the largest layer first, if if I can. I'm gonna go ahead and just trim off this little lower section on this HTV, just so I can actually fit it a little bit better on the hat. Now I know that it says nothing about using a cover sheet or anything like that, but y'all, it's like just so ingrained inside of me. Like I always want to use a cover sheet on something like this. Although this may not be completely necessary, but I am gonna go ahead and just cover this up. And then let's go ahead and press this. And then according to our app, we'll just press this little go button for it to count down from that 10 second mark. That didn't stick all the way down, but maybe it didn't have good coverage on the hat itself. So let me actually go ahead and repress this, and press it up a little bit higher. All right, so this stuff is a warm peel. All right, so the top part of here down, apparently maybe I just had this smack dab in the middle of the hat, and maybe I wasn't really getting the top or the bottom with that first press. So let me go ahead and cover this back up. All right, and let's do this one more time.
All right, so one thing I feel like I found out that's pretty helpful is that this little lower section right here did not want to properly adhere down to this hat. And I know that part of the reason for that is because of that seam down there that I tried to adhere that onto. And ultimately that's my fault. I, I should have known better. I should have paid attention and saw that there was like that, that pretty big seam down here at the brim of the hat. And that's why I didn't want to adhere. So I will chalk that one up to just my own user error, but let's go ahead and move on to the next layer. All right, so for the next one, I am going to go ahead and use that yellow layer. Now with this one, there should not be any issue at all. So we still have the heat press set to all the same settings over here on the app. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cover this up. Now there is a seam that's running down the center of the hat. And I thought that that would be an issue. However, I did notice like on the packaging that Cricut had HTV, look like HTV going over a seam on a hat like, the same kind of way. So I don't think that that would be an issue. I just think that the issue with the first layer was like the main little seam of the hat on the brim. All right, so let's go ahead and cover this back up and press that little go button. All right, so I'll be completely honest with y'all. I did not think I would be using this Cricut Heat app. I really, truly did not. I did not think it was like this. Like This is so cool. All right, yeah, so y'all check that out. This one, this layer, that yellow layer, that was not going across any huge seam like it was down here at the bottom. Zero issues at all with that. So first layer, totally my fault. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Let's just go ahead and position this in here. And I also, in the excitement of everything, just realized that I kind of broke one of my own cardinal rules about like the whole tacking down method for the HTV. So it doesn't shrink up too much, but overall so far it hasn't been bad or really affected this at all. Just because like all the layers of this, of this design isn't really butting up against each other and fitting inside of each other too much. So thankfully we're good so far, but yeah, you would definitely, if you're layering HTV like this, you would, in most cases, want to go ahead and just tack it down for a few seconds, not apply the full amount of heat for the full amount of time. But again, I'm using a new device. I'm really excited about this. And just like, in my excitement, I spaced on that totally. Now there will be more tutorials on this very, very soon. Again, this is just an unboxing and first impressions on it. All right, so let's go ahead and peel this off. And there we go. All right, y'all, so first impressions. I'm honestly a little shook about this. I was not expecting to love this as much. I'm very impressed. Like Cricut has done their homework and what they have created as far as like the coordination between the actual hat press and the Cricut heat app. I was almost positive I would not be using this heat app. I had no idea, however, that you could go in here and set the time and temperature. Like that is just so freaking cool to me. And the way that the actual hat press and the heat app is so responsive with each other, mind blown. And no, they are not paying me to say that. They did not send this to me for free. This was paid with my own flipping money and I do not regret that purchase at all. I am very happy with this purchase. As a matter of fact, I'm looking around at my craft room right now, wondering what else I can actually go and attach this to next. Like I'm here for it, like so here for it. It's just so easy, so seamless. Now, speaking of seamless, or in this case, seams, be careful. Like whenever you go in and, and apply your HTV or your infusible ink or whatever you're using, if you're like going over like a larger seam, like that is down here at this brim and I don't even know if you can really tell on camera or not, but obviously if you can't get really good, even heat distribution, it's not probably the best bet to apply your material there. Also, in my case anyway, I completely space on this, but also I would recommend if you are applying down multiple layers to do the whole tack it method, you know, for something like the Starcraft Softflex, I would go in there and tack it down for, I don't know, like three, four, five seconds at most and then go ahead and peel off the carrier sheet, lay down the second layer, do the same thing, and then apply the full amount of time, like the full amount of heat, once everything is already tacked down to the hat. But again, more videos on that coming very, very soon. This is again, just an overall first impression and color me impressed. Now, if you wanna learn more about the Cricut hat press or more about your Cricut cutting machine in general, 
definitely consider stamping that subscribe button and also consider ringing that little bell for all the notifications because I am releasing multiple, and I do mean multiple, Cricut videos every single week, and I promise you do not want to miss out on a single Cricut minute. Also, if you like this video or if you learned something new, which I know that you learned something new, most likely I feel like you learned something new because this is a brand new device, then please consider just hitting that like button and also consider dropping a comment down below. It, it honestly takes just a few seconds and it's free to do and it helps me out so much here on this channel. So thank you so much in advance for that. Also, just thank you for watching. I love y'all to the freaking moon and back and until next time, stay crafty y'all.